so I'm back with another drink recipe. I know that a lot of my friends and family who actually watch my videos prefer the recipe little mixology videos and I agree. I like it too because I get a little yummy drink out of it. Um, but today, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but I'm in the mood to put out a recipe for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if, if y'all like to go and celebrate that. I know a few years back, I that was my day to like go out and party. Um, now it's not really so much like this, but this is a drink I can make that I can sip on St. Patrick's Day in my little St. Patrick's Day glass too. So what I'm gonna make today for this little festive holiday um, is a Irish margarita. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know if you want to call it a lucky margarita, a shamrita. Um, there's so many different ways this could be made. This is my version. This is my way. So a little uh, backstory to this. A few years ago, I think it was like a few years ago, I went to New Mexico to a Chili's, okay? Um, I was like one of the only restaurants open at that day anyways besides the point um they had this drink and it was in the month of march and it was called uh like a five dollar it was a special it was like a five dollar lucky jameson margarita and i don't know first of all you guys this right here is the freaking devil like if you drink this by itself. I know a lot of you out there do. I have a lot of friends who like to do this and shoot some pickle juice back with it, but honey, I almost died off that shit. And so for me, this is not a preference. I don't know what got into me and I ordered that damn drink that day. And let me tell you something, it, it was so smooth, so good, and I could not even taste the Jameson in it. So with that being said, I'm going to make my version. Um, if you go to Chili's today, like in the month of March, I don't know if they still have this. Like I said, it was a few years ago and I haven't been to Chili's probably since then. Um, to an actual Chili's, I've ordered from Chili's. Okay, besides the point, um, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you what we need. But first, I think I'm gonna take this little thing off because I'm a little distracted. I see these little thingies hopping around while I'm moving around. Um, okay. So the first things first, I went ahead and rimmed my cup in some green salt because mm, why not? It's it's freaking St. Patrick's Day. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do, throw some ice in your cup like so. This time, fun fact, I am gonna do measurements. Regina doesn't like to measure her drinks, okay? I eyeball it. If it looks like it has enough alcohol, it does, okay? Nobody likes a weak drink either. Um, and let me tell you something, I just made this a little while ago and it, it's not weak whatsoever. A few of them and it'll have you on your ass. Um, okay, so anyways, ice in your shaker. And then we're gonna start off with the ingredients. So you are gonna need Irish whiskey. Now, I'm doing Jameson because that's what I originally had when I tasted this drink. Um, by the way, it's a little bottle because like I said, this is not gonna get drink or used by me. Um, all right, so then you're gonna need a tequila blanco. And this is the one that I'm using because this is one of my favorites. For this to be a lower end in the spectrum as in dollars, this is the best tequila. I bought this four or five years ago and I have not. Um, I, I like Patron for my margaritas. I like Don Julio, but if I just only want to spend 30 bucks on a bottle, this is what I'm going to use. Um, however, I do know that the recipe, the original recipe calls for Luna Azul. It's okay. That's also a really good mar uh, tequila, but this is what I'm using right now. And I'm gonna tell you, it, it's it's freaking good. Um, the other thing that you're gonna need is some citrus juice. This is just lemon lime juice, or my friends, you can just use sweet and sour mix. Um, it's the same thing. However, I like to squeeze my own lemon and lime. It's it's not that it's not that big. You will need one lime each, one lemon, one lime. All right, so let's get started. So you're gonna put your ice in the cup, and then we're gonna go ahead and. Crack open the whiskey, the Irish whiskey. 
we're going to do one ounce. smell of this shit. <sighs> okay. Now what we're going to do is do two ounces of tequila. Again, this can be your choice. I'm doing Blanco, but um, I, I prefer Blanco and margaritas anyway. We're going to go ahead and do two ounces. So it's one ounce Jameson or Irish whiskey and two ounces of your choice of tequila. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but this is called Espolon. I don't even know if you're able to see it. And then we are going to go ahead, like I said, I did squeeze limes and lemons in here just to make it um, a mix. I'm doing an ounce. One whole ounce. And then if you're using a mix of some sort, whether it be a margarita mix or a sweet and sour mix, um, this will already have your sugar in it. I, these are just too sugary for me, so I prefer to, again, squeeze my own. Uh, lemon, lime juice, one ounce, and then you're gonna do a little dash, a little squeeze of some agave nectar that much I just literally squeezed a little dollop in there and last but not least you are going to need some kind of triple sec um, they have a brand that's just called triple sec and it's just orange flavory goodness um, or they have like Grand Gala Grand Marnier which I think I said in my last video is my all-time favorite it is on the pricier side of triple sex and um uh orange liqueurs and all that stuff i do like contro too but for this one we're gonna just do half of an ounce and i would have bought the bigger bottle but uh my liquor store did not have it so i was stuck with this uh, it's price wise it's better to buy the bigger one all right we're gonna take our cup and start shaking. Give it a really good shake. Now, I don't know, you'll see, got our cup here. Now let me tell you, it's good just like this. However, here's my little tip. Anytime I make a margarita, it doesn't matter who it's for. I like that little fizz. I like that little, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But what I like to do is I just like to just top it. Just like that. That's all. Now let's give it a taste test. This is good. I need a straw because salt is very uh, sour for me, but mm. that's good. I want to like drink the whole thing, but all right. So now that we're done with that one, we're going to do one more. This is just a little uh, fun one. You're gonna need a champagne flute, any kind you want. You're also gonna need blue curacao, curacao. I say it either way, but fun fact, at the liquor store yesterday, all they had was the, the one with alcohol, but it was like the big one, and, and this is nothing but sugar. Blue Carousel is, even if it's got the alcohol in it, it to me it's like, a, I don't know, you can make like Blue Hurricanes with it and all of that good stuff. But for me, it's not a drink that I typically like for myself. Um, so I just bought this one because it's solely going to be used for color. All right, 
So if you could tell, it's literally just a green mimosa. That's what we're making for our last little and final drink. Um, Corbel is one of my most favorite champagnes. I know it's not high end, it's, it's not um, crystal or anything like that. For me, this is what I buy and it works just as well. Um, so typically when I drink mimosas, I drink it with grapefruit juice. However, in this case, I am doing um, orange juice just because the color is going to come out a little bit better than if I were to do grapefruit juice. Um, I love that little smoke that comes out. All right, a little bit of champagne. It's not rocket science on how to make a mimosa, you guys. It's really not. Again, when I drink mimosas, it's um, champagne. It's like, I'll have a mimosa, but hold the, hold the juice. Orange juice. Ooh, that looks yummy. I want like French toast now or something. I don't know. And your blue carousel. All right. It's pretty. So there you have it, you guys. These were my little St. Patrick's Day recipes, a lucky Irish margarita, Jameson margarita, shamrita, whatever you wanna call it, this is it. And let me tell you, it is freaking good. And also, how pretty is this? Mm. Mm. this was fun i love it anyways guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video like i said it was just another little quick recipe video it shouldn't take me long to edit i hope not because geez i don't know it's been a little while so if i kind of was all over the place i apologize but if you stuck through and watching the whole thing i appreciate it and i love y'all and i'll see y'all next time not too sure what my next video is going to be. Possibly another drink recipe video. Um, I'm constantly brewing up ideas on my drinks and I like to craft them like really good. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.